Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Calamity playthrough. Back once again, nice and early in the morning because I just feel like playing the game. So guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for the support you have been showing for the series, my friends. It is super appreciated. Now, I should probably mention at this point that uh, I am uh, somewhat pre-recording these episodes. Like, I'm like a couple of episodes ahead. So I think this is episode, what, 30, 36, 37? Uh, 37. I've just looked at my organized sheet of paper with all of the pre-recorded videos on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, so by the time this episode comes out, I would have only just seen the comments for episode 35. So, a lot of you guys have been saying that we should go ahead and make the Ark of the Elements. So, let us go ahead and see if we can find that bad boy. The Ark of the Elements. There we go. A true Ark of the Elements even. There we go. And also, we'll make the we'll make the upgraded Bind Blade as well. But uh, yeah, you guys were saying we should make ourselves the Ark of the Elements. 328 damage and it really doesn't require very much. Uh, although, with that said, I think I may need to farm out a bunch of ectoplasm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We do have ourselves a decent amount of stuff going at the very least. Uh, so I need myself five cause of calamity. We currently have three, which is a pretty good amount to start off with. Uh, so let me go and grab out some essences here. Look at the amount of stuff we have uh, in our inventory, just crafting stuffs. Oh, and yeah, once again, I, I defeated a random hive mind, and now I've got the glitched health bar, which is great. Anyways, doesn't matter too much. We're going to head over here. We're going to make ourselves a bunch of cores. Uh, there we go, two of those. And we are also going to head over to the ancient manipulator to make ourselves some luminite bars. I have actually taken down the moon lord again since the last episode. And you guys want to know what I managed to get? Do you guys want to know? what I managed to get. This. I managed to get the Unreal SDMG. Now, unfortunately, we can't make either of these weapons because we need to get to some serious late-game stuffs with Cosmolite bars and Shadow Spec bars, both of which we do not have access to. Uh, that was a human quack. We don't have access to those things just yet. But uh, I tell you what, uh, do we have everything we need now to make this thing? Luminite bars, we need... Oh, okay, so we need Galacticus Singularities and Bars of Life. Okay, so Galacticus Singularities are pretty easy to make. So let's come over here. We need five of them. Two, three, four, five. Boom. Okay, and now we need some Bars of Life. Can we make them over here? Uh, bars of Life? Or are they made at a forge? I think they're made at a forge, right? Hmm. Where are they made? I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need. Bars of Life. Ah, here we go. Yes, I was just being a dum-dum. Dum dum doofus brain python strikes again. But ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The Ark of the Elements. The penultimate upgrade for this weapon. Oh, it's a bad one. Oh, what? Okay, so this is the final upgrade. Requires Drayden's Forge and a bunch of other stuff. Galaxia, Nightmare Fuel, Yaren, Soul Fragments. Holy crap, there's a lot of things going on here. We definitely need to, need to give this thing a reforge though. Uh, so, my good sir... Uh, please don't be expensive. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boom! Hey, man! Pointy is kind of nice. Oh, what the hell? I'm talking of nice? Jesus! Alright, well, we're gonna put that on and see what it does. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, right, okay. Pointy Arc of the Elements, 360 melee damage. Right, let's check out the Omega Blade real quick. Oh, this one's actually really easy to make. But, sadly, we don't have enough Stardust Fragments. The Stardust Pillar is the last one to take down before we take down the Moon Lord again. I've been doing a little bit of farming. So, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead. Why can I... That's weird. It's really weird when it does that. It, like, it like gets stuck. It's very, very strange. Anyways, uh, let's see what we can do here with the Ark of the Elements. I have no idea what kind of damage per second this thing will do, but so far, it is absolutely trouncing everybody in the room, which is just brilliant. Hello! <laughs> okay, and of course, the projectiles go through walls, which is very, very nice indeed. Hmm. Okay. Right, I guess uh, we need to go ahead and see what kind of damage it can do against a single target. Huh? That's like the real test in terms of how fast we can take down bosses. I think the pillar will be a good start. And then if it's really, really good, then I guess there isn't really any reason not to use it against Moon Lord. Although, once again, the Terra Tamiya has healing abilities, which I really do appreciate. So, I don't know. 
We'll have, to, we'll have to pitch them together or something. The Teratomia versus the Ark of the Elements. Ark of the Elements definitely does more damage, as you can clearly see. 247, 383, more than 100, what, 130, 140 damage more? It's ridiculous, man. It really, really is. So, anyways, let's go ahead and take down this Stardust uh, Pillar, and then we'll give the Moon all the go. Alrighty, so let's give this thing a go. Uh... That was just absolute sheer and utter annihilation, I do believe the phrase is. 55 fragments from that, very nice. Alright, Moon Lord, your time has come once again to get your ass pwned. Here we are, my friends, the Ark of the Elements. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Okay. Oh my god! Can I take down the top iron one go? That is the question. Oh, it's looking close, my friends. Yes, we did. We took down the top eye in one go. And I don't think any other weapon has managed to do that yet, my friends. But holy Jesus Christ, this guy is just getting absolutely... Oh, my God. Well, that was a speed kill if ever I saw one. Get away, Lamia. You're not taking away my freaking victory here now. Wow. Okay. Well, you guys were completely correct about the Ark of the Element being an absolute trounce machine. <laughs> oh my god, it's so ridiculously powerful, bro. Jeez. Alright. So, what do I want to do next? I wanted to make myself the upgraded Bion Blade, right? So I think I do that over here. And there it is! The Omega Bion Blade. Still a material. So, let's go and see... Uh, does, it still only shoots out one projectile? Really? I think we'll have to give it a go against something. But, uh, oh yeah, once again, we need Drayden's Forge, which we don't have access to. Cosmolite bars, Phantoplasm. We do not have access to that sort of stuff just yet. Although, with that said, we do have Providence coming up fairly soon. Like I said previously, I want to try and take him down in the Hallowed Bime, see what we can do. Oh, in addition to everything, you guys were saying that maybe the wizard sells the... Aha, he does! Sells the Celestial Sigil. That is a really cheap price for the Moon Lord. Considering that some of the other summoners cost like 40 gold, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. But, oh well. Anyways, uh, right, what else did I want to try and make? I wanted to try and make the upgrade to this thing, which requires uh, easy stuff, to be honest. So let's go ahead and make it. So we're going to head down here. Uh, we need ourselves five of these. There we go. And then, what was it again? Uh, some bars of life? Bars of life? It seems pretty standard. We're using a lot of bars of life these days. So let's go and make some more. Two, three, four, five. Boom. And then we should be able to make ourselves the elemental axe. There it is. Deranged. Negative 10% damage. Ah, oh, man, that sucks, bro. Hey, buddy. Well, why don't you go ahead and give me a good reforge on this bad boy? Boom. Two platinum. Strong. Oh, God, that's four platinum to reforge. Do you know what? I'm just going to have to stick with that for now. What about this? Let's reforge it. Unpleasant. Again, eh, eh, not bad, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I will not complain. What is this going to give me? It is going to give me a star bath. Already got one. Don't need another one there, buddy. Thanks anyway. I love it. <laughs> Sweet. Right, you go in there, you go in there, you go in there. And uh, we've just got so much other stuff. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Right, I'm going to organize my inventory. And then maybe we can go ahead and start preparing for Providence, maybe? Yeah, probably. All right, let's go and do that. Well, in preparation for the fight, I actually went to the jungle to try and find some life fruits. And, well, try is the operative word. I couldn't find any at all, and look how much of the jungle I've now explored. Pretty much the entire load of the jungle has been explored, which is really kind of crazy when you think about it, and I couldn't find a single life root. That is, uh, I don't know what's going on there, my friends. I really don't know what's going on. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, quick stack all of that stuff away. Let's grab out the uh, the profane cores. I do have two of them. I took down another one since the last episode because, you know... I just wanted to, I guess. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we're going to head over to the Hallow and see what kind of things we can do. Ah. See, the question is, do we want to go with the Swarmer or do we want to go with the Ark of the Elements? I have no idea, man. I have no idea. 
But uh, yeah, in total, we need ourselves seven more life fruits to get us up to the, you know, all gold hearts. And then from there, we can get those special uh, fruit things that increase your life by 50. So, yeah, we need to go looking for these things. So in the meantime, look at this, guys. Look at all these guys floating around me. These are the elemental axes. At oh, irradiated. Oh, Jesus Christ. My skin is burning off. What does that mean? Is my defense my defense has been cut majorly, dude. Holy crap. So if I go in here, am I ah, oh, my skin is burning off. How do you how do you prevent that? I don't actually know. Hmm. Nessie! Are you going to cure me, buddy? I can't what really? Oh man, can someone hurt me please? I require being hurt! Maybe getting hurt by that guy and then getting healed might 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 do it. No? Irradiated. Ah oh, man, I need to find out how to combat that real quick. Aha! You there! Are you gonna drop me one of those core things? Ah oh, damn it. So yeah, I did a little bit of research on the wiki just now, and it turns out that you can actually combat the irradiated debuff by killing irradiated slimes and getting an accessory called the lead core. Now apparently it's a 5% drop. I don't know if that's like increased for expert mode, but you know, something we could find out at some point, I guess. But in the meantime, we just need to find some irradiated slime dudes. Hello. Hi. How you doing, buddy? Uh, ah, still no lead core. 5% drop. That's uh, what? 1 in 20? I think something like that. Hey, buddy. Get wrecked. <laughs> yeah. We get a bunch of money from those guys as well. Irradiated slimes are a good way to farm out some monies, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to see if I can farm out for the lead core. If I don't manage to get it, then I won't be too heartbroken about it. But, you know, it would be kind of nice. Ah, uh, well, it looks like the snowstorm has worn off. So, yeah, let's get rid of the battle buff and uh, let's, uh, let's just get on with this thing, man. I don't really know what to expect. I really, actually, genuinely don't. So, let's go ahead. We're going to resummon our elemental axes. Here we go. Two, three... Four. Is it just four? I think it's four. Okay, cool. Uh, should we get an energy staff going as well? And then probably one of these as well? Yeah. Seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Sweet. All right. So, let us do this. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Jesus. Hello. Hi. Hi. How you doing, buddy? Uh, 432,000 health. Holy Christ on a bike. All right, come on, boys. Oh, man. Can we do this first time? That is the question. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? The air is burning. What? What does that mean? Do I want to know? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that hurts. There's got to be a way of uh, preventing yourself from the... So going into water doesn't help, sadly. Hmm. I don't know, man. These guys are crazy, man. Oh, he's got some freaking profane guardians with him as well. Oh, you scumbag. You scumbag. I can't... Oh, what the... Jesus, goddamn hell. All right. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Wait. Does he stay? Oh, my God. If he stays, then we could be in trouble here, guys. We're just going to get caught in a death loop, huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he stays. He stays. He stays! He's staying with us! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Alright, well, uh, this is gonna get kind of ridiculous, huh? Uh, maybe we can get a little bit of healing from this guy? I mean, we're not doing too bad. We're about a quarter of the way through the fight. I find it a bit strange that he stays with you after death. I thought that the punishment would be that you lose your summoner, slash, you know, you lose the fight entirely and he disappears. Oh, God! I'm just going to get killed over and over, man. Uh, okay, what if we come down here? Come on, buddy. Come on. I'm already. I'm already. Oh, he's got, like, custom music as well. That's kind of badass. He's actually got his own music. You probably can't hear it a great deal. Oh, the air is burning again. Dude, there's got to be a way of combating that air burning. Because, uh, yeah, that, uh, that kind of sucks, man. It does a lot of damage to me, brother. All right, four seconds, three, two, one, and health. There we go. All right, we're not quite out of the woods, though, guys. Let's just be frank here. We're about halfway through the fight. A profane guardian has just awoken at half health, or Providence's half health, should I say. 
Uh, not bad though. Not bad. We're definitely getting the healing from the Terra Tamir, which I can very much appreciate. Uh, buddy. Hi. How you doing? How you doing there, Mr. Chicken Ball? <laughs> That's what Chippy calls them, Chicken Balls. They do. They look like Chicken Balls, don't they? It's kind of funny. <laughs> hey, buddy. Come on, mate. Can you, like, get off me, bro? And, like, stop. Oh! Oh! Oh, man! Killed again! Darn it! Foiled again! Oh, god damn it! Alright, he's at just under half health. The air is... Oh, no! He's actually disappeared this time! Oh, crap! What the hell? So what, was I just lucky the first time round? Yeah, he's definitely gone. Was I just lucky the first time round? Huh. Okay, cool. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Huh. Get wrecked. Right. Uh, yeah, that was interesting, to say the least. Hmm. So, what do we need to work on? We need to work on getting ourselves a proper solid setup, I would say. And I'm thinking that some uh, better buff potions would also suffice quite nicely. Uh, what else are we thinking might be needed? Uh, uh, iron skin? More iron skin po- or just potions in general. Let's just be honest here. We need ourselves a lot more than what we've got. Warmth potion. How would one go about preventing themselves getting hit by that uh, air is burning thing? No idea. Honestly got no idea. Right, I'm going to get some thorns out. Uh, Titan. None of this other stuff is really that useful to us. So I'm thinking that that's actually okay, what we have there. Uh, hey, Nursie. Hey, do Hey, do man. <laughs> Hope you're good. Right. I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm once again going to refer back to the wiki. I'm going to see if there is any way of preventing myself from, uh, you know, getting hurt by that air is burning thing. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a mo, and we can give the boss another try. Alright guys, so I managed to learn a few things about what's going on with Providence. First of all, she has uh, various drops depending on what biome she's in. For Like for example, you can summon her in the Hallow Biome and also the Underworld and you get different uh, drops for each biome. So in addition to that, she also, with the Ares Burning debuff, apparently what it does is it only inflicts the Icarus Folly debuff, and what that does is it reduces your flight time. So, yeah. That's pretty interesting, to say the very least. And in addition to all of that, apparently Providence spawns healing, like, healing projectiles. Like, they're green. So that's something we'll have to look out for, because apparently they do actually heal yourself, like the player, which is interesting, to say the very least. And also, it was said that we should really try and focus on the Guardians, if we can. So what I've managed to do in, in order to, you know, help me... Uh, avoid the attacks a bit better is I've actually gone ahead and I have you know done a whole bunch of stuff here uh, involving you know smoothing out the landscape all that kind of stuff my friends so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, smooth that out there uh, let's do that uh, can I like just run seamlessly through this now yep nice one all right fantastic that's pretty much what I wanted to do so uh, hello. Hi. I don't even know why you're bothering anymore, sir. Anyways, so, we're gonna give this thing a go again. Boom. Buffing up. And let's do this thing. So, she is up here. And yeah, apparently it is a she. So, that's pretty interesting. Hello. Hi, Probby. How you doing now, mate? Alright. So, staying up there now, are we? Okay. Air is burning. The deep off has been applied, which means my flight time has been greatly reduced. So we're going to try and look out for those green projectile things. Apparently they, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The air is burning. Yep, fair enough. Uh, so the reason, I actually looked it up again. Uh, the reason why she despawned before is because it became nighttime. You can actually only actually fight her during the day, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure that would mean she's like the only boss you fight during the day so far. Uh, air is burning again. There's one of the guardians. If I can get a little bit of healing, that'd be fantastic. Alright, hello, hi, how you all doing? Here we go, Profane Guardian has spawned in. We're getting a decent amount of healing from the Terra Tamir, which is very, very nice. Hello! Okay, there's now two of these guys. And in about five seconds time, we can actually regen. Oh man, I tell you what, the Master Ninja Gear sure would be nice about about now. I can heal, but it's not going to be enough, is it? Not really. Uh, the Cyborg has been slain, what the hell? Why? Why, why is she getting, why is he getting slain? I don't, I don't get it, man. Come on. I need all the healing. All the healing I can get would be brilliant. Uh, she's not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad. I'm getting a decent amount of healing. 
which is very, very nice. I think once we get back up to max, I think what we'll do is we'll switch back to the Ark of the Ancients. Ark of the Elements, sorry. Ark of the Ancients is the first tier sword. Oh, god damn it. Yeah. It's not doing enough, is it? Not really. Hmm. Okay. Right, I'm going to try and get above him and then just go around, I guess. Right, here we go. Ha! Huh. Alright, Providence is right above me. Oh, Jesus! Hi. And about seven seconds. I think we're stuck with using the Terratomir for now, my friends, honestly. I mean, it's giving us healing, but every time I get near to max health, I just get, like, shredded back down again. Which is kind of annoying, to say the very least. Okay. Ah! Oh! Can you, like, stop dashing into me, man? That's really annoying. Right. I'll tell you what, I really wish I had the Master Ninja Gear. I feel like the Master Ninja Gear would do a really nice job for us. Hmm. Okay, I think... What? What the hell killed me? It was chopped up by Blob. <laughs> that sounds like a name. Chopped up by Blob, boo. Oh, that's hilarious. I love that. Right, can I be like super quick about this? Heal. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell are you spawning on me, bro? Oh, hello. Hi, how you doing? Dude, what were those projectiles? They were absolutely destroying me. Okay. Hi. We're just going to get killed again, aren't we? Ah! I don't know. I mean, we're getting our healing just about. But this is a hell of a fight. i tell you something, man. Come on. Let's keep it going. So, oh, okay. So, what? Do the profane guardians, like... Ah, oh, god damn it. By blast. So, it's blob and blast. Sounds like some sort of uh, heavy metal rock band. Oh, what the hell are all these? Wow. She's like the god of fire or something. Look at all these blobs on the floor. That's probably what killed me, actually. Just thinking about it. Right, anyways. We got the entire day. So, as long as she doesn't despawn, I should be okay. So, come on. Be quick about this. There we go. And we're back in the game, my friends. We're back in the game. Looking good. So, for the sake of, you know, video, I think it's okay that she doesn't despawn. But for the sake of, like, actually playing the game and it being balanced, I think it's a little bit silly that she doesn't despawn when uh, when you get killed. But, you know, I, I'm not too fussed about it. All right. Uh, flight has been reduced, which is okay. She's down to 90,000 health. Not doing bad, my friends. Come on, let's get our first victory here. And let's see what the halo specific drop is. Should be pretty interesting to see. Maybe we could switch to this thing. See what the Ark of the Elements will do. Okay. Not doing bad. Not doing bad. Keep it going, man. Keep it going, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! Okay, I'm dead. Although we are getting a tiny bit of healing. If I get hit once, I'm dead. So, yeah. All that kind of stuff. Ah! Okay. Hi. Just getting a bit crazy. Oh, jeez. Hello. Hi. Oh! Did you see that? I think I just took one of her healing orbs. I might have to look back at that in editing, but I'm pretty sure I saw like 23 or 230 like healing. Hmm. Witch Doctor has been slain. Dude, how do these guys keep getting killed? It's amazing. Hi! Hey! I'm back again, man! You can't take me down! This is hilarious, the fact that she doesn't despawn. <laughs> oh, okay. And they're still... They're coming in despite the fact there's a huge, gigantic, floating idiot boss above me, man. What the hell, bro? Why would you spawn in now? <laughs> That's hilarious. Why would you actually spawn in? That is just stupid, bro. That is just stupid. That is just stupid. But anyways, guys, we are just about ready to take our ass down. Come on. Let's do this thing. I can't actually see you. Several thousand. Oh, and there we go. Oh, jeez, okay. So the Perfect Guardian stay behind, though. Ah, okay. And I got killed. Shrieks are echoing from the dungeon. The calamitous beings have been... What? Oh, man, I didn't read what... Oh, okay, I can bring up chat. The calamitous beings have been inundated with bloodstone. Oh, what? Bloodstone? Is that a new ore? That sounds amazing. Oh, I've got to go check that out in a minute. But holy crap, guys, we took down Providence. Not in one life, sadly, but we, we still took her down. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it. You know, not by any stretch of the imagination, in fact. Right, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and put you in there, you in there, you in there. we got all this other just generic crap on us that we just plainly don't need. I mean, we've got so many shackles. Uh, do we have a band of star power? I don't think we have a band of star power. It would be nice if we had a band of star power, because then 
I could make myself some mana cuffs and then, you know, my mana setup would get a huge upgrade, wouldn't it? Ooh, ooh, that's a cool idea, actually. Huh. Anyways, yeah, we need to go get the drop. We need to go get some other stuff uh, all done. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, okay, I can't even do anything with all this stuff. So let's just go and chuck it all away. Don't need the ammo. Don't need the Eskimo pants. Let's just chuck them all away. Right, let's go check out the treasure bag for Providence. And then we're going to head down to the Calamity charred biome thing. And uh, we'll see if we can mine up the new ore. Man, this is a huge-ass thing. Oh, it gives me lizard bricks. Well, this is fantastic. I could then go ahead and use this to, like, make my Elysian wings. What? I got myself some new wings, guys. That's amazing. I wonder if I could put wings on as well as the Seraph Traces. Uh, should we give it a go? Excellent acceleration and excellent flight time. Uh, temporary immunity to lava. Two. Wow. Okay, so three and 230. Three and 180. So this one has got more flight time. Can I actually put it on? No, I can't. Oh, wow. I can have that, though. Ooh. That looks pretty badass. I'm going to keep it in my social slot. Why not? Anyways, let's like, do this. Super healing potions. We got super healing potions from that guy. Restores 200 life. And it can be upgraded to something else. What can it be upgraded to? Supreme healing potions. I can make those as well. And it's still a material. Omega healing potion. Blood orbs. Okay, right, what's this stuff? Oh, what the hell? Wow, we just got a load of stuff. I'm gonna check this stuff out real quick. So we've got the Zealous Solar Flare, the Molten Amputator, and whatever this thing is. Bombardier? Fires Flare Rockets? Has the cyborg come back in? Ah, dang it. Well, I don't have any rockets, unless I've got some in here. Oh, I've got some rockets. Eh, not a lot though. Whoa! That is crazy. Right, I think, as always, I'm going to give it a go against uh, uh, a hard mode boss. Let's go once again for the destroyer. I just want to give them a go real quick. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, Rune, of course, used to seal the sentinels of the cosmic devourer. When used in certain areas of the world, it will unleash them. Not consumable. Huh? Not consumable. Interesting. Got ourselves a bunch of unholy essence from that as well, which is kind of cool. Right, anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and just, like, swap these out temporarily. And then we're going to give these things a go. All right, here we go. So let's start off with this thing here. Can I, like, do this thing, please? What? 135,000 damage per second. There are no reactions big enough without using 18 plus language to describe my feelings for that right now. Dude, i got to do that again. What the hell, bro? Come on, then. Come on, then. Come on, then. You want to go? You want to go? Uh, 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 dead. <laughs> what? Jeez, man. Okay. Right, let's give this thing a go. Okay, this thing is pretty gnarly as well. Wow. And dead. Easy money. Okay, and let's try out the uh, let's try out the yo-yo real quick. The solar flare. Hello. Wow. This thing is pretty gnarly as well. Not bad. Not bad. But by far and away, the best weapon has got to be the blissful bombardier. That is a stupid, like, in all capital letters, that is a stupid amount of damage per second. Like, legit, that really is. I'm going to have to keep that on my hotbar like a permanent weapon. Right, Astral Defeat, you're temporarily being retired. Galactus Blade, and I think everything else is in my inventory that is a weapon that isn't on the hotbar, I think is also going to be retired for now. Uh, so let's put all you lot in there. I imagine this Solar Flare might do a whole lot more damage if we had ourselves the right kind of stuff. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, organize my inventory. Uh, I'm going to try and make myself some uh, supreme healing potions as well. So, yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Ooh! Supreme! Resource! 300 life! God damn! Okay, so when used in certain areas... I wonder what those areas are. That is the question. I just realized I got myself a whole bunch of money as well. Did that guy drop like a hectare of money or something? If so, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Sweet! 
Alrighty guys, we're approaching the Calamity Biome. Are there going to be any new... Okay, my companion cube is freaking out. That's fair enough. Right, are there any new ores whatsoever? I have no idea. Hey buddy, get wrecked. <laughs> 24 gold for me. Thank you. Oh, a magma stone. Hello, how are you doing? Right, I need to get inside this place and see what exactly is going down. Uh, right, I need to check out... Give me a sec. I need to check out the map real quick. Uh, charred ore. Uh, doesn't appear that there's any new ores. Maybe there's like new enemy drops or something? Uh, what, what, what'd be going on here? Hello. Energy staff? No, that's pretty standard. Are there any other dudes around here? I'd be waiting. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be anyone here. What the hell, bro? Yo, we're gonna find some dudes. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, what the hell is that? Bloodstone. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm close to death. Hi. Get wrecked. Can you, like, please leave me alone? Oh, Jesus Christ. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of money to lose. Okay, I've got to go back there real quick. Man, why did I not quick stack those away? I'm an idiot, bro. I'll tell you what. A much easier idea would be to very simply just dig down to it, honestly. Just make myself a elevator going all the way down to that place. I think that'd be a much easier idea. So, I'm going to go and do that real quick. And then we're going to see... Let's see what the bloodstone does, actually. What does this What does this do? Bloodstone core requires phantoplasm. Oh, I wonder if we can get phantoplasm now. Okay, and what is this stuff used for? Oh, a new set of armor, guys. Check this out. Astrial assault. Oh, arterial assault, sorry. Uh, claret cannon, lacerator, sanguine flare. Ooh, the mutilator. Wow. This is a material. I think this is part of the auric Tesla armor. This is craziness, though. Wow, okay, cool. Right, I'm going to go and make my way over to the Calamity Biome again. We're going to like farm some dudes out there, and uh, we'll see what kind of stuffs we can do. I think it might also be worth going ahead and going to the dungeon, seeing if we can start farming out Phantoplasm now, because if we can, then uh, we might be in for a real good time in terms of upgrades. Ah, you see, Past Python was smart. He put a freaking piggy bank down here. Just a shame I didn't notice it before. <laughs> Oh, man. Alrighty, well, let's try and farm some of these guys out, see if we can get ourselves... Oh, another, another bloodstone. Why, thank you. Very much appreciate Oh, Jesus. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Get wrecked. Right, and uh, yeah, we're gonna farm. We're gonna go to the dungeon after this, and then we'll see if we can't make ourselves some things here in there. Ooh! Yeah, I was right. There are new things going on inside the dungeon. This guy's got 40,000 health. Got some ecto blood from him. I got my first bit of uh, got my first bit of phantoplasm here, which I guess is kind of cool. There's another bit. Hello, hi. How are you all doing there? Uh, another bit of phantoplasm. So we're now up to what th four? Wow. Okay. Huh. Okay. So we can like farm out many things at once here. We can farm out ectoplasm for the calls, and then of course we can farm out the phantoplasm for the bloodstone bar things core things, whatever it is, and then we can make ourselves some uh, stuff that way as well. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad, huh? Do -do 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 -do. Just sat here swinging my sword of epicness, getting loads of drops and feeling great. Woo! Look at all these drops, boys! Oh, yeah! Ha <laughs> ha Hey, a platinum coin out of it as well. Hey, man, that's pretty fantastic, isn't it? So, I, yeah... We are managing to farm out some bloodstone here as well, which is pretty interesting. Not entirely sure who exactly is the person who is dropping them, but, uh, you know, no complaints and all that. It's kind of nice to be able to kill two birds with one stone. And as well as that, we just farmed out a whole bunch of souls as well. Right, so, bloodstone, phantoplasm, I have no idea how many things we'll be able to make, but let's go ahead and have a quick look. Twelve, okay. Uh, what can we do with twelve? Uh, how many do we need to make each of the bits of armor? Okay, we need a decent amount. Right, okay, that's fair enough. Alright, so in the meantime, we can make ourselves all of these weapons of a one or two mutilator. Striking an enemy below 10% life will trigger a blood explosion. Blood explosions cause hearts to drop that can be picked up to heal you. Oh, cool, okay. Viscera. The more tiles and enemies the beam bounces off, the more healing the beam does. What? That sounds pretty cool. Fires a blast of sanguine flames that drains enemy life. Enemies that are close to the yo-yo will have their life drained. The Claret Cannon fires bloodstone bullets that drain enemy health. So basically it's like a, a, a draining 
armor type thick dry draining thing well right, anyways uh, let's go down here i want to kind of make both of those swords actually uh oh i need to get this out of course uh right uh, yeah i want to try and make myself both of those swords because i think that'd be a pretty cool idea so here we go so we've got the viscera and the mutilator 617 damage guys just take that in for a minute 617 it's super quick uh it doesn't shoot out oh wait does it shoot out protect? No, it doesn't. What about this one? Ooh. Oh, this was magic damage. It wasn't a sword. It was a magic damage. Okay. That's pretty interesting. I'm interested to see how that would do against the destroyer real quick. Uh, so, you know, as always, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, summon him in and kick his butt real quick and stuff. Right. Hello. Right. I am going to buy a destroyer summoner and I'm going to destroy the destroyer because that's just how I roll. Right. Here we go. What, what? Okay. Okay. I think at this point the destroyer is just not a good test anymore because you could just kill him in a matter of milliseconds now. Like quite literally milliseconds. Where's he spawning now? Dead. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Guys, I think on that note, once again, before I get too carried away, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, it would be super appreciated if you would head down below the video, drop a like rating, hit that subscribe button if you're excited for more content and you don't want to miss out on it. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.